First up today, a second timer in the den, Samantha Gore from Manchester. Last year, she pitched to the Dragons her fake TV, designed to ward off burglars when your house is empty. Initially, she managed only to confuse the investors. It's an occupancy simulator. What's going on? I haven't got a clue. Well, Pardon? You've lost me. What's going on? It's a fake TV. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, it looks like a radio. But from outside the window, um, it definitely looks like a TV. We've done tests on it, and it looks like there's somebody Is in the building. It's to project an image to a wall. Actually, do you know what? That's my mistake. Black's going to absorb it, isn't it? The white's going to reflect it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. After a disastrous pitch, the multimillionaires did end up warming to her. When do your batteries run out? My batteries? <laughs> About four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> on a Sunday. <laughs> but she didn't get their cash. I've got an underlying feeling that you are probably brilliant, but you have given me no way to invest in you. So I'm afraid I'm out. Few have dared face the dragons twice. Let's see how she gets on now. Samantha Gore. I'm here to try and raise £120,000 for a 10% equity stake in my company, Saboteur Crime Prevention. You may remember me from last year. Um, Deborah, said, you said, potentially brilliant, but it was the worst pitch you'd ever seen. And you guys couldn't decide if I was a genius or I was insane. Um, well, I bought the product before you, the fake TV, last time, and it definitely wasn't an insane concept. It's been selling really well. First thousand came into the country in October, and they were sold out before I even got them. All my customers are asking when my next products are going to be available. I think this is going to be the best product that's, that's ready to go now. It's my retrofit curtain closers. Um, when you're going on holiday, you're setting up your house, you've got all your light timers on. It's always the big dilemma, how do I, how do I put my curtains? These are really, really simple. The, um, they can be retrofitted. So... This is automated, it, it'll come on. But yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. <laughs> that was that's it's just um. Was... Unbelievable! I've tested it a million times. I will do that in one second. I'll do that in one second. Um. So, th do you have any questions? <laughs> In an unfortunate repeat of her last encounter, Samantha Gore's demonstration has failed. The devastated inventor is hoping for a £120,000 investment in her range of home security products, and she's willing to give away 10% equity. Peter Jones gives her one last chance to get the curtains to work. I would suggest that you at least get that right. Yeah, <laughs> that was, that's, it's just, um... Right. It looks quite a flimsy product um, to me. It looked like it was almost struggling to pull a very lightweight curtain across. Please bear in mind it's a prototype. It's a prototype, it's not the finished product. It's the, it's the second. How much would that cost me? 49.99. Sam, sorry. Does that do two curtains or one curtain? That does one curtain. So I need two? Yeah. And, and for the pair, it's going to be £69.99. But I need it for every, every room in my house has got to have a yeah. £70 that, that, piece that's of only, kit. But what, compare it to what's available at the moment. It's, it's four £500 pounds to have curtain track system set up. Samantha's conviction is clear. Will Deborah Meaden be more impressed second time round? Samantha, I don't like the product. Somebody else was watching my house and saw my curtains 
oh. kind of slowly but surely creakingly open. That is about as big an advert as you can say to anybody out there is this is an electronic device opening these curtains and therefore I'm away. At least you've got some movement in the house. I mean, a thief is going to come. You know, I interview thieves. I ask them what the habits are. And a thief will look at every window. And if only one moves, it's, it's a benefit. You know, that's why people get neighbours to come into the house. But, you know, the way people are living, a lot of people don't know the neighbours. Despite her initial setback, Samantha's starting to fight back. But are her products worthy of investment? Duncan Bannatyne wants to find out. Samantha. Yes. You see, I think what we told you the last time was that you were all over the place. I was. And it's time you're all over the place again. Am I? Right, sorry. Yeah. Because you mentioned this fake TV thing. OK. You mentioned this. Has that made any money? Yes, it has. It's not made a fortune, but... It's but not it made has, a fortune. It has made money, yes. What's it made? It's probably... In profit, it's maybe 10,000. How much were you asking for the last time? 275. OK. And you've gone out... You made ten thousand pound. So was that right not to invest two hundred and seventy-five thousand pound in you? Um, well, at the time, definitely yes. Sam, you've got the product out. You've packaged it. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Package is fine. Mm -hmm. You've got, you've got it out there. Mm -hmm. Why did you come here today? I want you to tell me the truth. I, well, I really do want investment. I've, I've seen what you've done for the other entrepreneurs. Um, you know, sometimes I, the hardest thing for me in business is sometimes I, I have to make a lot of decisions on a daily basis and sometimes I just like to run it by somebody else to help so, make a decision. So, so you came here to get one of us to help you? Not carry me. I don't need carrying. To aid me, yes. Not, uh, have you got a yes, problem with the me. word help? I um, love the word help. I'm always looking for help. Right, I just, I just don't want you to think you'd have to carry me, that's all. I'm not saying carry. Yes, I want you help. You should never, yes, ever be help. ashamed of asking for help. All right, help me. It's an emotional exchange, but heads rule over hearts in the den, and it's not enough for one multimillionaire investor. Sam, let me tell you where I am. For somebody who had a second chance mm -hmm. to come in, which is rare... Um, I think you could have done a better job, if I'm honest with you. I think you clearly have got a bit of get up and go. You've obviously been successful before, but you've not demonstrated in a year that in what you're trying to achieve as an inventor, that you're commercially viable. So, I'm out. OK. Sam, if I was just to back somebody, do you know, you'd definitely be the sort of person I'd back. Mm -hmm. But you've made it absolutely impossible. And I don't actually think you're going to make your money off that. And I don't think you're going to make your money off that. Mm -hmm. But I do actually believe you will get there at mm -hmm. some stage. Next time you come up, be more realistic and you might have a chance. But in this particular instance, I'm afraid I'm out. So now we've got all the emotional stuff out of the way, I'll, I'll be honest, I have a very, very different opinion. I would actually not sit here and encourage you to come a third time um, because the idea is not good enough. And until you get an idea that is commercially viable that's going to make money, I don't believe you deserve an investment, actually. And that's why I'm out. Three dragons out, and Samantha's risky decision to return to the den looks like backfiring. Will Deborah Meaden or Duncan Bannatyne see beyond the product and spot potential in the person? I think you've partially achieved something that was probably been playing on your mind. I think when you last left the den, you walked out of here thinking, I could have done better. Mm -hmm. I th and I would have felt, if I was you, I'd yeah. felt exactly the same. I think there's success in you, because mm -hmm. I, can, I can see it. I don't think it's this. OK. And you're, not, you're asking me to invest in this. OK. I'm out. OK, thank you. <laughs> that just leaves me, Samantha. It does. Is this an investment that I can work with you and make work? I'm torn, Samantha. I really am torn. If you don't think about your own house, you think about your relatives or your friends that live in smaller suburban places. And also women, women are, it's women in, in the 40s and 50s that are the most fear of getting broken into. You, you're perhaps not the market to buy it. Samantha. I'm out. I knew you were going to say Sorry. that. <laughs> Please come back again sometimes and let us me.
Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> it takes a brave entrepreneur to risk the wrath of the dragons twice. Once again, though, Samantha walks away with nothing.